Hello again, gents. Welcome to World of Tanks. Today, I'll be going through all 10 ranks of tank at my disposal, and a secret special tier that I'll tell you about right at the end. Oh, and also, they sponsored this video, so, uh... World of Tanks is undoubtedly the greatest game ever, with over 400 unique and occasionally dubious tanks modeled to look like their real-world you counterparts. You will have fun forever. So please, I implore you, scroll down to the link in the description and play World of Tanks today. Alright, let us begin. First up, Tier 1. For the first battle, I picked the Strizn... Anything interesting that's Tier 1. Weedish. <laughs> I'm picking this, this looks dumb as fuck. A Swedish tank built after World War One, but actually designed by this German fellow right here at the end of the war. He also designed the K-Wagon, which looks like a chicken strip. Anyway, back to the Tank. Back to the FM-21. How does a German tank designed for use in World War One get adopted by the Swedes post-war? Well, turns out the Swedes got a hold of the plan somehow and just ordered the parts for ten of them in secret by disguising them as agricultural equipment. Oh yep, I picked it because it looks like a shoe. Okay, let's go. Turns out tanks from World War One are pretty slow, so it took me about three years to make it to battle. I managed to get two solid, moist, wet kills before overextending and getting blown to smithereens. Well, that was not too bad. I got, I got, I got a few of them. My computer's gone. All right. Well, time for tier two. This time I picked the T2 light tank, which was only ever a prototype designed for the US military, which was also based on another prototype. Its only actual use was being repurposed into the M2A2, which did get used. Why was it never built? Probably because it sucked major ass. I died almost immediately to the M2 light, which is literally what it was supposed to be, M2A2. Fuck. Tier three went uh, pretty bad. Please, please, turn. No! Fuck! I almost got one. Well, like, tier P. <laughs> tier 4. This time I selected a much better take. This just... Uh... The Stuhl. Which was initially put on the battlefield to assist infantry units, but eventually they realized it was also really good at doing this. <laughs> Sit! I'm going to penetrate this man. Wait a minute. <laughs> Oh my god, yes! Alright. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking seven. <laughs> oh my god, he's almost dead. No! No, he's on six HP! Pretty decent, I guess. Tier five. I managed to find another Stug. The German army actually produced a ton of different Stug designs throughout World War II. The difference between this one and the last one is really nuanced, but basically this one is better and they used it a lot more. I wasn't able to absolutely annihilate my enemies like in tier 4 since they're a bit stronger now too, but I still got two kills. Boosh! Win. Which for me is good enough. Tier 6. Gentlemen, is there anything interesting in tier 6? Wait a second. Tier 6? I'm pretty sure the TOG is tier 6. It is. Oh my god. It's TOG time. Just looking at it, you can tell that the TOG is a very hefty boy. But to be a bit more specific, the TOG weighs 80 fucking tons, which gives it a top speed of 8. God blessed American miles an hour. Wow, this thing is slow. <laughs> you best believe when I get there, they will have hell to pay. <laughs> The tank was designed for use in World War II, and still manages to be slower than the World War I piece of shit at the beginning of the video. Needless to say, using it on the battlefield against a bunch of non-80 fuckton tanks was pretty miserable. Uh-oh. <laughs> I cannot- I cannot dodge that. It has a shit ton of health, but it's so slow you can't dodge anything, so uh, yeah. But, before we move on to tier 7, I have not won. But two bonus tanks to tell you about. First, the OI, which is apparently the widest tank in the entire game, which uh, checks out. And also has the most powerful gun in all of tier 6. I started the match by taking a highly tactical bathroom break. Uh, um, yeah. I meant to do that. That was uh, it's a flanking maneuver actually, yep. Uh huh. But because of the insane firepower, I still managed to get in there and nab a few juicy ones. And the second bonus tank is everyone's favorite. The Dickamax, which some of you may recognize from, uh, something else, I guess. And just like in that other thing, the Dickamax brings true peak performance. Zero kill. Or like, three successful hits. Turns out maximum dick is not a good strategy. Who'da thunk? 
Yeah. Tier 7. I've been playing a lot of heavy tanks so far, so let's mix it up a bit. I chose the T-71 CMCD, which according to the wiki is so fast that it can drift. Which really is not what you want in a tank. Evidently, it was too fast for me because I got fucking obliterated. So I swapped it out for the T-71 DA, which worked great. I managed to get two whole entire kills. I got him! Hooray! Back my fellows up. I just destroyed my tracks. That's an epic one. Ignore the tank pulling up right next to you. I think we win two kills. We take that. Jod Jaming. Hooray! <laughs> Tier 8. I picked the Object 703 version 2, which, I mean, come on, it speaks for itself. Two guns built for maximum firepower. In real life, never made it past the blueprint stage. But we're gonna forget that because it looks so cool, and thus it must be a perfect killing machine. Right? I got one kill. Tragic. But, is that... Oh my god. Is that the bonus tank music? I think it's time we call on the Roman Empire. Zam! The most powerful vehicle ever built. This is obviously not a real tank. Well, it kind of is. It's actually just a Progetto m 46 with ABS. I, with abs. Not ABS. Abs. With abs. <laughs> I look like such a fucking Dorbus. <laughs> Everyone else in their very normal looking tanks and then me, soldier of the Roman army. Fucking goddammit. Leave! Bro. Come on, man. I haven't seen anyone. This is so unfair. Fuck! Shit! The Roman Empire has fallen. I got zero kills and died. So, uh, moving on. Tier 9 and 10. I picked the two goofiest tanks I could possibly find. The Flat Fock and the... Both of which proved to be absolutely terrible in battle. I got rolled and smoked like a fine stogie in both tiers. Listen, Tier 9 and 10 are where all the gamer goons are anyway, so it was bound to happen. Alright. We've reached the final tier. It's time for the secret, far more devious, question mark tier. Ooh, wait a minute. Can I do this? I think I can. <laughs> I have no idea what these are. But let's do it. What is this? Stop it. Oh, it's like a bunch versus one of those big boys. This mode is asynchronous, meaning that one team you have this really big mega tank playing alone, and on the other team you have a bunch of small tanks trying to take it down. Okay, interesting. I am, I'm intrigued. I'm intrigued. What tier is this? It doesn't even say. Does everyone have access to this, or is this like a higher tier only thing? Am I about to just get stomped? The mode is actually time limited, so by the time you're watching this, it's probably gone. L. 32,000 health. Good lord. I want to shoot it. I want to shoot it. I did 32 damage to it? What the fuck? Now, it's basically pointless to shoot the mega tank while the shields are up. The real objective is to take down one of the generators so the shields stop, and then you can go in and blow that fucker up. That's crazy. It's like 30,000 health. That's ridiculous. So I could play as that. Oh my god, he's coming. I need to leave. Oh, I see. I can repair myself. That's cool. All the tanks in this mode have special abilities, like repairing or putting up a safety bubble. These are really important for getting in close to dump as much damage into the mega tank as possible whenever the shields are down. Speaking of, my team took down the shields, which means it's time to rush in. What is this? What's going on here? What is... <laughs> I'm so confused. The shields... Oh, okay, I see, I see. All right, I'm going in. Oh, God. No. No. Ow. Kill! I'm so dead. Yeah. Fuck. I was a little bit slow getting my goofy ass into the fight, so the shields came up and I got obliterated. But that's actually fine because you can respawn in this mode. Wait, I get to respawn? Oh, fuck yeah. Okay, I see. I see how this works. You got to kill the thingos and then... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. This is interesting. I really want to play as the, as the big guy now. The goal of the group team in this mode is to defeat the mega tank before time runs out. So when my team failed to do that, we lost. Shit. Okay, I want to play that again. That was actually pretty fun. For the second game, I was hyped to try out the mega tank so I could stomp on some little baby shitheads. Can I play as it? Please? Please? Yes. Unfortunately, I really, really did not get the strategy down on my first try. I see. So I just, <laughs> I just bum rushed them, basically. While the shield's up. I was very tunnel visioned on attacking enemies, even while my shield was down, which is stupid. They can respawn, Martin. What the fuck are you doing? Obviously, I lost. Very embarrassing. 
I have the most powerful shit in the game and I still- I still fucking lose. God damn it. After losing on both sides of the battle, it was pretty clear that I was the problem. So before my next game, I did a little bit of research. There are four tanks to choose from, and two of them are dog shit. So it was basically between the health tank and the bubble tank. But honestly, if you use the bubble effectively, you can really avoid taking very much damage in the first place, so taking the time to heal feels kind of redundant. So I chose the bubble tank, and got into battle. Where is the Blitzträger? But this tank has a shield that I can activate. So if I'm like caught out by it, I can just pop the shield up and then I'm eats. Oh shit, the blister is teleporting. Go, 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 go! Actually, no, I'm gonna go for the next... Yeah, I mean, you could go for that, but I think it's smarter to go for the next generator. Okay, I see. I'm just gonna stay near this. I wanna win! Right, I'm sending it. I think that does make me go faster. Wow, I am zooming! Go ahead and overload another generator. I'm sending it. This is fun. I'm liking this game mode quite a bit. Once once it goes down, I'm popping the shield and I'm blasting him. He's dead. He's dead. I got him! I get him! Yeah! I won! Hooray! I played one more game after that and won that one too. Genuinely a really fun game mode. But I digest. There are no more tanks. That's all of them. Sorry, ate the rest. Okay, get subscribed. Click on the link in the description. Goodbye!